We're getting ready to unwinterize the farm in the next few weeks and get it growing again. I just came out here and flipped some. See what survived the winter. And every few flips, I'm finding some clumps of worms. Sign that we they survived somewhere. Oh, there's a couple more pot worms. There's not a lot in these clumps. I need to get deeper. I'm only flipping top half. If I flip down lower, there'll be more. But I mean, there's one. And he's moving. So not completely dormant. Not frozen. It's a little dry. Dried out a little bit more than I liked, but it's gonna be hard to get it wet right now with the pipes frozen. I'm sure they're thawing out in the next few days or weeks. It's starting to get up in the 40s and 50s during the day. But we'll see. Flipped right along the edge of the farm. And that's where a lot of them seem to be. It must be, I wonder if they're moving here because the warmer air is coming in through the holes as it warms up. Oh, we got potworm issues. That's a big potworm too. Look at that. Huh. Yeah, that's a big pocket. That must be something right there that they really like. It's a little dry, so I'm surprised there's potworms. Hmm. Yeah, that stuff is, they must have worked a lot of this all winter because it is like finished. It just crumbles to, to grain. I said in my other video, these aren't necessarily bad for your farm, but pockets like this are a little, which I'll do some tests on this. Not super concerning since it's not millions of them, but the single pockets like that are, man, oh, that one's full of worm. Huh. Good to see things are coming back to life. I'm going to start feeding again soon. So it's February 1st. We're going to start dewinterizing this farm soon. Like that. So we still got our old style. I mean, we only got this to 45 ish feet long. Um, and it worked. But it's just kind of a pain to deal with. It takes away our sidewalks, too. I mean, you can see we got these long, beautiful sidewalks built. Um, and we want to use them. So the new style. That we're going to do with the farm. We're going to redo everything. So this farm will be gone. This farm style. And the boards will be gone. Everything will be gone. Um, we're actually going to move it to this middle area. Get rid of the straw. Mix it in. Put it on top. Not sure. It's so good stuff. And it's going to go to this style. So this is a mix that I just threw in a couple weeks ago. Of manure and our other finished compost. Which I'm starting to think the finished compost didn't quite have enough nutrients in it to sustain a fast growing fat population of worms. Um, it made great castings, but didn't really make the worms thrive after the first couple weeks when they would eat everything they liked. So we're going to start mixing in some fresher, hotter manures. Uh, we're going to let them get hot enough to kill all the pathogens in them and then quickly mix them in while they're still warm because that means there's still energy in, in them. The worms can chow down on that. So, See, I painted these posts with um, latex kills paint, so, you know, they won't rot out. And we're just going to start stacking down the middle. And then we get our sidewalks back. It's easier to work. It's just going to be better all around. It gives us more square footage for the farm. Um, I think it's a good decision. I wanted to avoid it because it was going to be on the dirt, but I could either lay down tarps if it looks to be bad, or we just give the worms a place to escape to. They're not really going to get out of the farm since... Or if they do, that means that we're doing something wrong. They should want to stick around if we're doing everything right. Um, they're kind of contained by these sidewalks too. So that's going to be our big changes in the next few weeks. Um, 
look forward to making a few videos about it and watching this place grow even bigger. Um, we kind of had a slow start last end of last summer, but we're going to hit the ground running this spring. Still got quite a bit of compost. We only used about a pile of this last, last summer and fall. And it looks like they've brought over some more fresher stuff, which, man, that looks awesome. I don't think that's the same stuff we've been using. It's a little fresher. This might be, looks like they spread it with a manure spreader because it's the way it's laid down. This might be good stuff to ask them what the plan is. These could be going on their fields or they could be with the worm farm. Need to find out if they're for the worm farm. I mean, this stuff is freaking good to go. I mean, look at that. It's a mix of manure and wood shavings and straw. That is an amazing mix. So we may be able to get moving a lot faster than I realized. I'm kind of excited if this is meant for the farm. This last year has been fun. Kind of figuring this out. I'd done worms at my house in pretty big bins and stuff like that for three years before trying to take this on and I thought I was really good at raising worms and I'm not bad but I'm getting better I'm really liking making videos and sharing everything with everyone who watches and I've gotten a really a lot of good feedback and comments and people seem to like what we're doing so I'll try and get better it's been kind of a rough start to the year um, but all more content coming more interesting and some tutorials and stuff like that some other small worm farm related projects I'm working on. Um, thanks for watching.